Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is a bit of a different video. I thought I would do a how-to on how to buy pieces from Bricklink, as I've had a couple of customers on my PayHip ask me to do a video. So first of all, this is gonna be the 10th Doctor that I'm gonna show you how to do. And I'm just gonna show you what you get when you buy the instructions. You get the PDF file and the XML file underneath. So I'll just quickly show you the PDF as it looks from the front page. If it just loads. Here we go. So that's the front page of the instructions, a bit of the second one, just to give you a little bit of an example of what they look like. We're just going to be doing the David Tennant Doctor. Okay, let me just close that because I'm not physically building this one today. So what we'll do is we will open this XML file. So what you want to do is you want to right click and go down to open with notepad, which is what I use on my computer, but you can use any kind of text editor. And then you want to right click and select all. That just selects all of the text. And then you want to right click again and copy that. Then you want to come out of that and you want to go to bricklink.com. I'll put a link in the description for this website. And this is just the website that I use for all of my pieces. And it's the main one I use for, web, for finding pieces and seeing the prices. And if you want me to show you a tutorial on how to make a Bricklink account, if you don't have one, I can show you that. But right now we're going to do this. We're going to go on to the want section. And then you want to go down to upload and give that a click. And then you'll come up with this screen. And what you'll want to do is you want to add to a new wanted list. You just type in the name. I'll just put in the 10th Doctor. That's the one we're building today. And then you want to click the extension on the right, which says upload Bricklink XML format. And give that a click. And then in that box underneath, you want to right click and paste. And then all the text will show up here. So all the text from that Word document or the text editor document. And then you want to click on proceed to verify items. Now I've saved you the trouble on this one to check if they're all there, because I know that they are. And just scroll to the bottom. All these pieces are gonna be in there. Just make sure that, I just make sure that all the colors and everything exists, everything's all right. And then you just add to the wanted list. And then you wanna click view 10th Doctor. And now this is the list that has all the pieces in it. And you can, this is where you can edit things. So this has 51 items and you can change it to 100 items per page. And you can change, click here to see the condition of stuff. So you can click any, which means new and used. You can click the new items which just means that they're brand new bricks or used, which can be a bit of a gamble because I've had pieces that are just incredibly used, look like they've been chewed by animals and stuff. Um, and then you can change the quantity of things. The want quantity you don't need to change because it knows how many you need, but you can change it to, if you have that piece and you have two of them, you can change it. So that takes it off the tally at the end when you go to buy them. 
but I don't have these pieces, so I'll just change it back to zero and then save that again. Just make sure you save it every time. So all those pieces will be there. I'm just gonna make, make sure they are. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we'll click on buy all, which will put all of those pieces into the system. And this is where you can change your filters. So you can, I use United Kingdom, because that's where I'm from. It's got a whole list of countries in that section. Or you can choose the region that you live in. Or just anywhere, it doesn't really matter. It's up to you where you get your pieces from. And you can change the store currency which I use pound sterling, which is the currency in the United Kingdom. But I just use that one. Now the instant checkout you can change, which can drastically change the pricing because this adds the postage on automatically if you have the instant checkout with shops that use instant checkout. But I tend to leave it unclicked because sometimes it can make the postage a bit cheaper. So this list on the left shows you what wish list you've got selected. I've only got the 10th Doctor selected because that's the one I want. And it shows you all the items that you have wanted in that list or set of lists if you've got more than one selected. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to select auto select. And this box here, you can tick or untick it where it says select stores which item price is lower than store minimum buy and stores can set a minimum buy so maybe five pounds and you can't spend any less than that just to make it worth their while sometimes but I always have it unticked because it can again make it cheaper and then you just want to click select and then it comes up with these stores it will be any random store and it tries to calculate the amount of pieces that are good for the price and how many you can get from a shop so it tries to get the smallest amount of shops selected with the most amount of pieces and these are the three I've used two of these shops before I've used the Watto's junkyard before and the one above and this is the minimum buy for the Watto's junk shop which is one pound which we've overspent and then you want to click And it's got all of the pieces found which is quite nice and very helpful so I don't have to buy anything from abroad to make the postage cheaper and then you want to click create cards and now these are all ready for you to purchase and you've got these checkout buttons on the, on the right and you just click those and they go through and they take you through to postage and your PayPal, which you should have a PayPal when you're buying on Bricklink, just to make it a bit safer. And that's the tutorial on how to buy pieces using an XML file. Um, I quite enjoyed recording this one. Um, just please let me know if you enjoyed this how to video and I will make some more if you want me to make some more. Like I've been thinking of making one for how to maybe set up a Bricklink account or how to or how to use studio which is the program that I use which is owned by Bricklink I use that to make my instructions and my just all my builds really and if everyone wants to know how to do that I can show you a quick video on how to use that program so thank you for watching if you could please like the video leave a comment on what you liked about it and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.